Get your fresh tomato sauce. I think the quality of the ingredients was better than like most other pizza. Olive oil. You can definitely taste it in the ingredients and just in how it was made. Throw that in the oven and play the waiting game. And waiting is all that's left to do for the owner of Yosteria, Alex Zordich. Once work is complete, Zordich will occupy a space in the new Doubletree by Hilton in downtown Youngstown. But for now, he's working out of a test kitchen in the B&O station. What better way to promote what's going to come to the hotel than uh, rent out a kitchen real quick and have some fun doing it. It's been a lot of fun. Zordich received his training in California, New Zealand, and Italy, where he spent two and a half years with families from different regions learning their traditions. He says during the time, he's picked up on some things he believes Youngstown will come to love. I've missed this town the entire time. I've missed the people of Youngstown and, and everything about it. And so it was, it was like the only way I could kind of bring it all back together and bring it all to Youngstown. When I heard the places he's been and the stuff that he brought back from Italy, I thought, this is really going to be authentic. Throwing on the, the cheese. I guess the main difference between the pizza in Italy and the pizza we're used to is the char on the cheese. They, they just keep it real fresh. It's just a quick burn, quick sear, instead of uh, throwing it all on at once. Right now, Zordich is using social media to promote his business. I follow this on Instagram, and then like I came home for the weekend, so we had to come here. You know, I've told maybe 50 people about this place, and they're following them, and he posts his menu on there. We saw the Instagram, and we've been like kind of following the different foods that they have. They always post what they're making. It's been a good response so far. It's been fun, and I've been changing it up every week, and I think people are liking that. I'm not keeping everything the same. Once the space in the Doubletree is open, it'll primarily serve as a wine bar. Zordich first learned the art of winemaking from his grandfather. I've been making wine since I was a little kid, since I was about eight years old with my grandpa. I just fell in love with it ever since. He, he got me into it, and I knew I always wanted to do something with wine. You'll also be able to enjoy some classics that pair well with the wine. Most of it will be meat and cheese boards and staple items like slices of pizza, wood-fired pizza, and I'll have some small plates, small appetizers. Benito. And Zordich's regular customers say they're ready to get a taste of Yosteria downtown once it opens. I think it's really impressive how much downtown has grown in recent years. So I think like the more businesses moving to central downtown, the better it is for the community. It's such an Italian seated community. For that, for him to bring the authentic part of that from Italy is, is superb. I'm really excited for downtown right now. I think the hotel's cool and young guy to have a business, you know, it's really inspiring and cool. I'm really excited for the hotel and for this restaurant to open downtown. I, I'm just really excited to be back here and on top of that it's really exciting to see what's going on in Youngstown right now. There's a, there is an excitement in Youngstown and even people from outside are starting to notice it.